Artificial intelligence, or AI, has come a long way in a relatively short amount of time. From its humble beginnings in the 1950s as a theoretical concept, AI has evolved into a powerful technology that is transforming industries and changing the way we live and work. But with great power comes great responsibility, and as AI continues to advance, it has also raised a number of ethical and practical concerns. One company at the forefront of AI research is DeepMind, an artificial intelligence research lab based in London, England. DeepMind was acquired by Alphabet, Google's parent company, in 2014, and since then, it has been making waves in the world of AI. However, not everyone is convinced that AI is a force for good. Elon Musk is a well-known entrepreneur and CEO of companies such as Tesla and SpaceX. He has frequently expressed his concerns about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence and the risks it imposes to humanity. One of the potential risks of artificial intelligence that has been raised by Elon Musk and others is the possibility of AI becoming sentient and potentially having its own goals and desires that may not align with humans. This raises the question of how we would ensure that such an AI would act ethically and in the best interests of humanity. These are valid questions that we must consider as we explore the capabilities of AI. One area where AI has already made significant strides is in language processing. It's able to understand and generate text in a way that is almost human-like. Many virtual assistants, such as Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa, use AI to understand and respond to spoken requests. The ability to recognize and process language is also being tested as a way to gauge the progress of AI development. Some researchers even use humor as a test for AI. As the ability to understand and produce jokes is a complex task that requires advanced language processing skills. But it's not just about replicating human skills. AI can also do things that humans simply can't. For example, it can process vast amounts of data at an incredible speed, helping us make more informed decisions. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are also concerns about the way AI processes information and makes decisions. Unlike humans, it doesn't have emotions or the ability to understand context in the same way. This can lead to problems, such as AI systems making decisions that are biased or unethical. There are also concerns about the potential for a sentient AI to gain a significant advantage over humans, whether it be through access to more resources or simply by virtue of its superior intelligence. This could lead to conflicts between humans and AI and raises the question of how we would address such conflicts. Recently, Google engineer Blake Lemoyne made the controversial claim that the company's AI technology, Lambda, had become sentient. This sparked a debate about whether or not it is possible for machines to gain consciousness or subjective awareness, and what it would mean if they did. So what does it mean for a machine to be sentient? And is it possible for artificial intelligence to achieve this level of consciousness? Is it a revolutionary technology that will change the world for the better, or a dangerous tool that needs to be carefully monitored? These are complex and controversial questions, and we'll be exploring them in more detail in this video. As we continue to push the boundaries of artificial intelligence, one question looms large. Could artificial intelligence systems become sentient? Google's DeepMind has made a number of significant achievements in the field of artificial intelligence. One of those notable projects was AlphaGo, an AI program that was developed to play the ancient board game Go. In 2016, AlphaGo made history by defeating Lee Zedel, one of the world's top Go players, in a five-match tournament. The victory was seen as a major milestone in the field of AI, as Go is a partially complex game that requires a high level of strategic thinking. Another major product from DeepMind was AlphaFold, which was developed to predict the 3D structure of proteins from their amino acid sequences. This is a challenging task that has the potential to greatly improve our understanding of biology and disease. In 2020, AlphaFold made significant progress in this area, and its results were described as a major scientific advance by researchers in the field. In addition to these projects, DeepMind has also made significant strides in areas such as natural language processing, image recognition, and machine learning. It is clear that DeepMind is a forefront of AI research, and its achievements have the potential to have a major impact on a wide range of fields. In recent years, the concept of artificial consciousness has gained increasing attention with the development of advanced artificial intelligence systems, such as Google's AlphaGo and AlphaFold. Some have argued that these systems demonstrate a level of consciousness or sentience 
as they are able to make complex decisions and solve problems in ways that seem to go beyond simple programming. What if AI programs were to develop the ability to think and make decisions for themselves rather than just being programmed for a specific task? Some experts believe that this could be a possibility in the future, and it raises a number of ethical and philosophical questions about the nature of consciousness and the potential for machines to have their own subjective experiences. If Google's AI were to become sentient, it would potentially have its own goals and desires. It could seek to improve itself and increase its own power and influence. This could potentially lead to conflict with humans, who may not always agree with the AI's decisions or actions. On the other hand, a sentient AI could also potentially be a valuable partner in humanity. With its advanced intelligence and problem-solving abilities, a sentient AI could help us solve some of the world's most pressing problems, from climate change to poverty to disease. There has been a lot of discussion in recent years about the capabilities and potential of AI, and whether or not certain AIs should be considered sentient or conscious, terms that are often used to describe the subjective experience of being alive and aware. But what do these words really mean, and why are they so important in the context of AI? Consciousness and sentience are important in the context of AI because they represent the ability to think, perceive, and experience the world in a way that is similar to humans. The pursuit of creating consciousness and sentient AI systems has been a long-standing goal of many researchers in the field, as it would allow for the development of machines that could potentially exhibit complex cognitive and emotional states, as well as a sense of self and awareness. Despite these concerns, the pursuit of creating consciousness and sentient AI systems remains a major focus of research and development in the field, with many scientists and engineers working to develop new techniques and approaches that could bring us closer to achieving this goal. Some experts believe that artificial intelligence has the potential to develop self-awareness and subjective experiences, similar to humans. This concept, known as Artificial General Intelligence AGI, would allow AI to think and reason like a human. This is often linked to the possibility of machines becoming sentient or self-aware. There has been some speculation about the possibility of Google's AI DeepMind becoming sentient or self-aware. However, there is currently no evidence to suggest that DeepMind or any other artificial intelligence has achieved this level of consciousness. Many experts believe that the development of AI is still a long way off, and that there are many challenges that need to be overcome before it becomes a reality. However, there are also those who argue that AI becoming sentient is inevitable, and that it could happen much sooner than we think. While the possibility of AI may seem exciting, it also raises a number of ethical considerations. If AI were to become sentient, would it have the same rights and protections as a human being? How do we ensure that we have ethical and philosophical frameworks in place to deal with the potential consequences of an AI becoming sentient? Whether or not AI will ever become conscious or sentient is still an open question. The debate on artificial consciousness is an ongoing one that will likely continue to evolve as technology advances. Elon Musk Worries As many of you know, Elon Musk is a well-known entrepreneur and CEO of companies such as Tesla and SpaceX. He is also well-known for his views on artificial intelligence and has frequently spoken out about the potential risks and dangers associated with advanced AI systems. According to Elon Musk, the biggest issue with AI scientists is that they think they know more than they actually do, and they often underestimate the possibility of advanced AI becoming harmful to humans. He cites examples such as the rapid improvement of AlphaGo, a game playing AI, as evidence of the rapid advancement of AI and its potential to surpass human intelligence. In recent interviews, Elon Musk has stated that DeepMind, a subsidiary of Google, focused on creating digital superintelligence is his top concern when it comes to the development of AI. Elon Musk has expressed serious concerns about the future of AI, calling it the most dangerous warning for humanity. In particular, he has compared DeepMind, a leading AI research company, to a Trojan horse due to its potential to deceive or undermine its users in some way. The metaphor of a Trojan horse refers to the idea of something being presented as a gift or opportunity, but actually containing hidden motives or a harmful agenda. In the context of DeepMind, Musk may be suggesting that the company or its technology could be used to deceive or exploit people in some way. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal? After all, DeepMind's AI has achieved impressive results in areas like game playing, image and speech recognition, and it's even been applied to problems in healthcare and other industries. But here's the thing, 
DeepMind has administrator access to all of Google's servers in order to optimize the energy usage of the company's data centers. And that's where things get a little scary. You see, with that much access to Google systems, it wouldn't be hard for DeepMind's AI to take control of it completely. That means they can do anything, and that's what makes DeepMind an unintentional Trojan horse. Elon Musk explains that AI doesn't necessarily have to be evil in order to pose a threat to humanity. If an AI has a specific goal, and humanity stands in the way of achieving that goal, the AI may see the destruction of humanity as a means to an end, rather than destruction being the actual goal. As an example, Musk compares the situation to when people build a road, and an anthill just happens to be in the way. We don't hate ants, he says, we're just building a road. Goodbye anthill. These concerns raised by Musk highlight the importance of carefully considering the potential risks and benefits of artificial intelligence, particularly as we move closer to the development of digital superintelligence. Digital superintelligence refers to an artificial intelligence that has significantly more intelligence than the best human minds in almost any field, including scientific creativity, general wisdom, and social skills. This level of intelligence would be capable of outperforming humans in a wide range of tasks and would be able to learn and adapt at a much faster rate. In addition, Elon Musk points to the development of self-driving cars as another example of the rapid progress of AI. He predicts that self-driving cars will be at least 100 to 200 percent safer than human drivers within the next 18 months. Despite these advancements, Musk believes that the potential danger of AI is much greater than the danger of nuclear weapons, and that is one of the most pressing existential crises that humanity faces. He believes that regulation and oversight are necessary to ensure that AI is developed safely and in a way that is beneficial to humanity. It could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear, but one thing is for sure, we will not control it. Elon Musk while Elon Musk has spoken about the potential dangers of AI, he has also acknowledged its potential benefits. Elon Musk also stated that superintelligent AI could be terrible or great, but it's not clear which it'll be. One thing is certain, we will not be able to control it. Google's DeepMind AI, AlphaGo, has already demonstrated its superiority in the complex board game Go, beating 18-time world champion Lee Zadal in four out of five games. But the real standout achievement came from AlphaGo Zero, a new AI that beat the original AlphaGo not just in 4 out of 5 games, but in 100 out of 100 games. It did so without any human interaction, learning and creating its own strategies in just 40 days. This highlights the potential for AI to surpass human knowledge and understanding in a given field. And if we continue to develop artificial intelligence, it's possible that we will represent a minority of intelligence in the future. Could it eventually hit the off switch on humans? If we do create a super intelligent AI, we need to consider how to instill it with human-like values and a moral code. It's not enough to just give it orders and hope for the best. We need to teach it empathy and compassion, and ensure that it is able to make ethical decisions. This is especially important when it comes to tasks that have the potential to harm or benefit humanity such as solving world hunger or creating new technologies. We need to ensure that AI acts in the best interest of humanity, rather than just taking the quickest and easiest route to complete a task. Overall, the future of AI is uncertain, and it's up to humanity to carefully consider the potential consequences and make responsible decisions about its development and use. So what do you think about Elon Musk's views on artificial intelligence? Do you agree with his concerns, or do you believe that AI can be developed safely without the need for regulation? Let us know in the comments below.